Hi, so Math 20-3, we're in our trig unit, and today we're talking about angles of elevation and depression. So an angle of elevation, we looked at this a bit in the slope unit, um, but we're revisiting and we're really going to focus on it. An angle of elevation is an angle that is made with a horizontal line at the base looking up. Okay, so it's an angle made with the horizontal looking up. Okay, so we're looking up from the ground. So we can think about it, it's an angle above the horizontal. Okay, so sometimes we might look at where somebody is standing on the ground and they're looking up to the top of a building or a tree and the angle that person makes with the ground their eye line makes with the ground that would be the angle of elevation so if you think about elevation if something's elevating it's going up try and remember that that's how that works okay angles of depression is when somebody's at the top we still have a horizontal and somebody is looking down okay so it would be in here and they might be looking down so maybe they're at the top of a cliff so they might have something there and they're looking down to something at the at the bottom so an angle of depression is an angle below the horizontal now it's important though that we look with both of these, that angle is made with the horizontal line. So this horizontal line is what we're making the angle with. So hopefully you can see that yellow highlighting. I put maybe I'll put green, maybe it'll show up a little better. But it's always made with the horizontal not with the vertical line, okay? Um, so the interesting thing is because it's always made with the horizontal, angles of elevation and angles of depression are the same. They're gonna be the same in a given situation. So if you're at the bottom of a cliff looking up, you make an angle with the horizontal, it's going to be the same as that if you were at the top of the cliff looking down. Okay. Um, hmm. We can use our trigonomic ratios to find either of these angles or a missing side. Okay. So what we can do is using all of that finding a missing side or missing uh, angles that we've been doing the last few days and that we reviewed earlier today, uh, we can now use this idea of elevations of uh, angles of elevation or depression to help us find missing sides. Oops, I don't want that pen. I want a highlighter. So we can use the trigonomic ratios to find either these angles or a missing side. So we're gonna have some examples where we might have to find the angle of elevation or we might have to find the angle of depression, um, but we use what we know to find those. So example number one, Ooh, I skipped back. So let's find my page, not this one, next one. So here, example number one. So I just gave you a moment to find that page. Uh, we solve for the angle of depression. So we have Joe up here. We'll call him Joe. He's looking down at this boat. Um, and uh, we want to know, it, it asks us to solve for the angle of depression. Now it's important when we're thinking about this, the angle of depression is in here, right? And remember I said the angle of depression is actually the same as the angle of elevation. So it's the same as this angle in here. 
because this would be the angle of elevation and they are going to be the same amount. So to find the angle of depression, what we do is we look at what we have and we think of it in terms of being a triangle. So let's draw this as a triangle without the boats and without Joe. And just with the what we know, what we don't know, this will be our square. We have 60 feet here. We have 250 feet here. And we have this angle of elevation right in here, which is the same as the angle of depression that would be up in here, okay? And that's what we wanna find because they're equal to each other. So the angle of elevation becomes our angle of interest. So now we're gonna follow our procedure. We're gonna start by labeling our triangle. So looking from that angle of interest, this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent. Now, we're going to circle what we know. We know the adjacent and we know the opposite. So we say to ourselves, okay, what trig function when we do SOHCAHTOA, which one uses opposite and adjacent? And that would be tan, TOA, right? So tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, so tan theta equals 60 divided by 250. So we get our decimal, 60 divided by 250, and we get tan theta equals 0 0.24. Now remember, when we're looking for the angle, that's when we use our second function. So the angle is going to be tan negative 1 of 0 0.24. So you have to use the second function tan button, right? So when we do that, we're going to get theta is 13.5 degrees. Okay? So I like to draw that triangle without all the other stuff in, just so I can kind of deal with it. If you didn't want, if you said, ah, I can see the triangle and I can circle it on the original diagram, you're welcome to do that. Um, I don't need to, because the units are the same, I don't need to transfer them over because trigs, it's a ratio, so the units are gonna cancel out anyways. Let's do another example, okay? Um, basically, we're doing the same skills we did before, it's just now we've thrown in this new thing, angles of elevation and depression. Um, it's nothing different mathematically, it's just a different way to talk about things. So example number two. Joe is looking out from a watchtower and he sees a bear in the wilderness. Joe knows that the watchtower is 35 meters tall and he is looking, um, sorry, I meant to put it on highlighter again. <laughs> it's 35 meters tall and he is looking down at an angle of depression of 63 degrees. Calculate how far the bear is from the watchtower. And then it says, yay, it says draw a diagram. So that's what we're gonna start with. So we have Joe, he's in this watchtower. Okay, this is a watchtower, we'll say, right? And he sees a little bear so we have a little bear here. Okay, grr, there's a bear. Now the bear is, uh, we don't know. Uh, we know that the watchtower is 35 meters tall and he can see the bear that way. We also know that the angle of depression is 63 degrees. Now remember, angle of depression is the same as the angle of elevation. So if this is 63 up here, that's 63 down there, okay? So now we have our little picture. Hope you like my bear. He's so scary. This is a black bear, okay. So let's draw this as a plain old simple um, diagram, uh, triangle, okay? And then we're gonna solve it. 
So if I forget about all the other stuff, my bear, etc., and I just have my triangle, I've got a square here, I've got 63 degrees here, 35 meters here, and I want to know this. So the angle I'm looking for is right there. So this is my hypotenuse, right? Because it's across from the right angle. This is my opposite, and this is my adjacent. So like the last one, I'm dealing with opposite and adjacent, so I'm going to be dealing with SOKATOA. I will be dealing with TOA, right? Opposite and adjacent. So uh, tan of 63 is equal to my opposite, 35 over X. Remember, I can put the tan over 1. And I'm going to cross, multiply, and divide. So that tells me that X will equal 35 times 1 divided by tan of 63 degrees. So let's do that. Uh, tan of 63, uh, oops, tan of 63 is 1.96, so 35 times 1 is 35, and this is 1.9626. We like des four decimal places for accuracy. So 35 divided by 1.9626, and I get 17. 0.83 and it's going to be in meters because our other measurement was in meters okay so the hard part with this is really just taking the information translating it into a diagram because you're going to want to draw that triangle and then solve it from there um, the, and all of the questions that you're going to be doing if you take a look at them are word problems where you're going to take the information, draw a picture. So when you're doing these, you want to draw a picture. And then you're going to, uh, from that picture, remember you need a right angle triangle. And the hard part might be just figuring out where that angle depression or angle of elevation is. Remember, if you, as long as you make it with the horizontal, with the ground, or with the skyline, you should be good. Okay? Um, We'll go over a few of these when we come back, but I want you all to try them all. Um, and uh, so you have a couple, two pages of practice, okay? And then we'll go over.